Is Zoom, one of the big winners of the pandemic situation, still a buy? And with that, welcome back to Investing for Generations, your channel for high quality stock research for long term value investors. And with the start of the pandemic situation, of course, demand for video conferences just explode. And so also the stock of Zoom video communication um, explode. Uh, you can see here that for a long time really nothing happened in the stock price and then just with the start of the pandemic it just got up to now $482 per share and this is an immensely increase and so of course if you hold this stock now for a while uh, congratulations. But the question become with a PE ratio of 615 and the market capitalization of 137 billion right now, is it still a buy? And in this video, I will try to explain if it's a buy or not for a long-term value investor. Nobody knows how long this pandemic situation will last, of course, and if life will go back to normal at one point, I guess also the demand for video communication will decrease again. But overall, I also think a lot of that will stay for the future. And because I think one of the big things we learned all is that it's not absolutely necessary to be in person at the office all the time. And a lot of things you can do just by video communication or by home office. And so I think this market will grow over time and the question becomes is zoom still a good investment and long-term investment in this market and just to analyze this first i want to go with you through the financial numbers of zoom so first take a look at the revenue and you can see that here in the last trading 12 months or especially uh, in the second quarter of 2020 the revenue of zoom just explode to uh, 664 million dollar in the second quarter of 2020 and this of course is a big increase and all of that is because of the pandemic situation and the special needs of the customers and with that also of course the earnings per share just explode from nine cents in the first quarter of 2020 to uh, 63 cents per share in the second quarter of 2020 and of course, this is an explosion and you see this explosion also in the stock price, of course. And also when we look at the margins, we can see normally they work on very slim net margins, but just lately uh, also the net margin went up to 17%, which is a nice net margin. And also when we look at the balance sheet, it's very solid. Um, Zoom have a total assets of $2.6 billion dollar compared to 1.42 billion of liabilities with no long-term debt and 1.48 billion cash in hand. So that's a pretty solid balance sheet. And so far with the financial numbers, I like this company because it's just solid and they have uh, with these cash in hand also some room to expand and growth. And then I also found a very interesting article in Barron's from the 1st of September. I want to go through this um, article and then just also after that try to value the stock of Zoom. The name of the article is why Zoom stock is rocketing to new heights. After a breathtakingly good April quarter earnings report with 169% sales growth that simply crushed expectations, Zoom upped the ante. The results for the July quarter and the guidance for the rest of the year are so remarkable it will prove hard for some to comprehend them. For the quarter, Zoom reported revenue of 663.5 million up 355% from a year ago. The guidance was also impressive. Zoom now sees revenue for the January 2021 fiscal year of 2.37 billion to 2.39 billion, up from previous forecast of 1.775 billion to 1.8 billion. 
Zoom now projects full year non gap profits of $2.4 to $2.47 a share, about twice its previous estimate of $1.21 to $1.29 a share. So it looks like these company just increase their business uh, in a super high tempo. And you can see this in the stock price also. A lot of that is priced in, in the stock price already. And then I want to go through with you also some um, price targets of the analysts. For example, Goldman Tether Bellini uh, lifts her target on the stock to $402 from $187 before. Uh, DA Davidson analyst Rishi Yerleria uh, target is up from 240 to 460. Bofo Global Research Analyst Nikolai Belyov uh, target is up from 260 to 475. Nitems Richard Valera target is up from 230 to $440 per share. And Beard Analyst William Bar Power uh, target price is up from 300 to 465 dollar but there are also some analysts which are a little bit more cautious uh, so city's water pritchard target price also goes up but just to 377 dollar from 217 before and stifle analyst tom roderick who has a hold rating say Numbers are going up and the forward guidance frankly look conservative, he writes, but he notes that the stock now trades at 35 times his revised estimates. We don't know what to do with that. If you already own Zoom, you heard nothing to change your mind. If you're on the sidelines as we are, it's awfully hard to catch a bullet train. And I think a lot of people feel like that. Uh, when they look at Zoom, and the next step, I will try to calculate my value of Zoom and then we'll decide if it's a good long-term investment or not. The growth of Zoom just lately with the pandemic situation is very, very impressive. And per Yahoo Finance, this growth will continue over the next five years, uh, over 38% per year. And this is really impressive. This is a big, big number. And keep this in mind because we need this number to calculate the intrinsic value of Zoom. And also here uh, we see the analyst price targets and in average the price target is $413 and the current price is $482. So even by these analyst price targets, it looks like Zoom is overvalued right now. And then try to uh, find out the intrinsic value and therefore I go again through my Excel sheet uh, of the calculation of the intrinsic value. Here we take the 38% per year who finance at the growth rate. This is for the first 10 years. Keep that in mind. This is very, very optimistic. Here who finance talk about the next five years. I put it here in for the next 10 years and 38% over 10 years is mind blowing. And then the terminal growth rate for the second 10 years of 10% and all of that with a discount rate of 12%. Uh, which is my normal discount rate or my expected return. This is what I want for my investments per year, of course. And then we put in the earnings per share and I put here in the estimates uh, of the company for the whole year of $2.47. And when we calculate that, we come to a fair value or intrinsic value of $273 which is 76% higher than the current price. So it looks like even with this very, very, very optimistic calculation, because really I can't, can't imagine that any business grow over 10 years, 38% per year. But even with this very, very optimistic calculation, it looks like Zoom is still overvalued. Or in other words, if the current stock price would be the equal to the intrinsic value, Zoom had to grow not 38% over the next 10 years. No, it has to grow 47% per year over the next 10 years. This is even crazier uh, and no, I not really can imagine that. But that's necessary to get a 12% return 
over the long term to come to an intrinsic value right now of $486. Just think about that and think about if this is really likely. I don't think so. Sometimes with these growth stocks, it also makes sense to take a look at the market capitalization just to put things in perspective. And if you calculate the 137 billion of market capitalization right now, and think about that in this calculation um, where we would be on the intrinsic value right now, uh, we need a growth of 47% over the ne next 10 years, and you calculate that, then the market capitalization of Zoom had to be $6.4 trillion in 10 years. $6.4 trillion of market capitalization in 10 years. And then just think again about if this is really, really likely. The companies with the biggest market capitalization right now in the world are around two trillion. Is Zoom in 10 years three times more worth than Apple is right now? Answer this question for yourself. And then also keep in mind if this market of video communication is really that big that a lot of the other competitors will push a lot and there will be a high competition and when you look at the companies which are in this market already, you see there is Microsoft, there's Google, there's Skype, TeamViewer. There is competition and if this market is really that big, these companies will push. And then the, I guess the market shares of Zoom will be still there and they will still grow. But the market share overall will decrease as always when you have competition in the market. And I also don't see the big moat that Zoom have here. I think it's just not there. Uh, just right now, they are the first in this in this market. But of course, if there is money to make, a lot of other will follow. And so, after all, I will say that Zoom is a good company, a very solid company with a good business model and also a solid balance sheet. But it's way overvalued and so I will not touch Zoom anywhere soon. It's an absolutely no-go for a long-term value investor because the expected return is just not there. That's it for today. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to never miss another video. And then we will see soon again with another analysis of another stock out of my watch list. See you then. Take care. Bye-bye.